this was a Bristol car. It is a Bristol car. It was built by the Bristol Aeroplane Company and later which became Bristol Cars, a separate division. This is a Bristol 403, so uh, there were two versions prior to this. And they weren't mass produced, but they were very successful cars. So this is a sports tourer, a bit like a modern Mercedes or Jaguar, a luxury car costing around £60,000 today in modern money. Now Bristol acquired technology from BMW post World War II, namely a BMW engine. It was a pre-war racing engine, BMW 328 engine, and they brought it back here and built a car around it. Now bear in mind, they're an aeroplane company and they had lots of excellent engineers plus wind tunnels. So this car was extensively tested in wind tunnel. This meant this car is very streamlined. It has a very low drag coefficient, meaning it cuts through the air very easily, like an aircraft. That's because this was tested a lot in these wind tunnels, and they modified it as they learned. So it has flush bumpers, it has recessed door handles, and a recessed fuel filler cap as well as very small body panel gaps. So a Jaguar E-Type is a racing car. It was built after the 403, but nonetheless, this is more streamlined than a Jaguar E-Type. Pretty impressive. Another thing about the Bristol car, it's got a tubular monocoque chassis. You can see it here in these trucks. Many cars of this period were built on chassis. So you'd have a chassis with the wheels and the engine, and then you put a body on the top, coachwork. But this is like a modern car. The entire body is the chassis. This means it's safe in an accident, not as safe as modern cars, but very safe for the day, and much stiffer in corners, tighter. It handles better. 